All right, here we go. Um, Ocho Trivia Challenge. Welcome, everyone. This is week one, game three, my first game hosting. Very excited. So we have some returners. We have Sandusky's Daycare, um, seventh place in the regular season last season, but third place in the playoffs, which is what- Who gives a shit about the regular season? The, the, the regular season LeBrons of, of the league last year, trying to get off to a better start against uh, their rivals making their debut. It's don't blow it. Um, excited to have you guys in the league. Um, sounds like some of you guys watched the game earlier tonight, so you probably you know mostly know how things work around here. But um, if you have any questions, just let me know. So, you know, 10 categories, each team gets a question, one minute to answer. If you're incorrect, the other team gets 30 seconds on the steal. You get two lifelines. You can double one question, but you can't double um, something that's one of your niches. And you get a phone a friend, and you also can't use that on one of your niches. Um, otherwise, if no one has anything, um, we are good to go. PD, do you have a do you have a statement? I feel like you might have something to say. No, I'm just very excited. No, okay, let's. All right, we'll get into it then. Um, so Sandusky's last season, seven point four points per game, but a lot higher in the playoffs when it counted. Like I said. Um, the double was your uh, was your biggest enemy last season. It cost you a lot of games. So now you can't use it on a niche. I wonder if it's actually going to help you guys in some kind of backwards way. Um, and then don't blow on making their first appearance. Excited to see what you guys have in store. So the first category of your first game is going to be geography. And want to double first category here. Who's going first, Matt? Uh, you are going first. Uh, I don't know, fellas. I'm a little tempted, honestly. Should we start off the season hot? Should we well, wait? Do we not use geography as one of our niches? No, no, it's we not, it's not your niche. And then I want to confirm so, that that we can't double and phone yeah. a friend. Oh, then, oh, you cannot double or phone a friend on your niches. That's correct. Will you want to start off two and zero? Oh? I mean, uh, up to nothing. <laughs> yeah. We started off last season with our double. I think we have to start off this season with our. And double. you got it. Yeah. You got it miserably yeah. wrong. Let's okay. Yeah. No. Let, let's double it. All right. Yeah. Double. Coming in hot. Double. Um, all right. So I don't have my, so I don't have my own timer now because you'll see a timer bar at the top. It's a brand new feature that I'm very pleased with. So I just have the buzzer for you guys. PD, this is to start off to up. What two countries make up the island of Hispaniola? This is Haiti and Dominican Republic. Final answer. Yeah. That is correct. Oh. There we go. Big fuck. Fuck off. <laughs> Already. Already up from last season. Wow, it's a it's a new team. So it's two zero. You've used your double, but you don't care because you got it right. Um, feeling good early on. So here we go. Don't blow it. This guy is for you guys. One minute. What two European and one African countries are the only nations with both Atlantic and Mediterranean coastlines? Spain. Yeah. And. Morocco, Spain. Uh, I think Morocco is the African one. France, maybe. I was thinking France, but I'm not sure about that one. Is I feel pretty good about what's France, Spain, and Morocco. To be honest with you guys, let's Unless go with you, that. I well, think I think keep, France. We can yeah. keep talking. Isn't the outer edge of France like? Right. Isn't that the Atlantic? Does it touch the Mediterranean? Though? I, I can't even think of it. Yeah, fifteen seconds. I feel like I'm comfortable with France. Okay. I'll go for France, Spain, Morocco. Yeah, EJ, you got it. final answer. What okay. Nate said. That is correct. Let's go. France, Spain, Morocco. Well yeah. done. Suck one, Matthew. Suck one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you respond. Two one. Going into round two, you still have your double celebrity name puzzle. Um, I don't know. Was there one of these last game for anyone who watched? Nope. No. Okay. These are kind of this is kind of the specialty, uh, the specialty category of the league. Everyone's a big fan of this. So you're gonna see a puzzle of different images, and it's gonna associate with the name of a celebrity. Um, so Sandusky's will be up first. They'll show you the ropes. Will is a notable legend of these. Um, of course he is. So, <laughs> Uh, don't blow it. Do you guys want to double this, despite not really knowing what it is? We already doubled uh, it. Considering yeah. the information I just found out about Will, we will not double this one. All right. Yeah. I so, said so hang back. Yeah. So uh, this is for Sandusky's. This is for one point. Here is yours. Name a celebrity represented by this puzzle. Um, Lerman. Blue Lerman. Blue, 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 blue on Lerman. Blue on Ler. I'm thinking J. It's a blue J. 
J Hook, J Hook Man, um, J J on Lerman, J Lure, J Lee, J Lerman, J J J J Leno, no, J no, J no, J Blue Lure. J a uh, blue on lure man. Blue hook. Fifteen. J on J on lure man. J lur. J J J on. J on lure man. Final. I think you're having a stroke. All right, that is incorrect. Uh, Thirty seconds for Del Boy to steal this one. It's got to be Jason Bateman. Wow, nice. Yeah, wow. Jason oh, Bateman, final oh, answer. You beast. <laughs> this is the oh, final answer. <laughs> Never. Yes, wow. days on Bateman. Well done. Well That's done. my favorite <laughs> actor, and I didn't even get him. Oh, my God. Jason Bateman, you beast. <laughs> I had no fucking clue. <laughs> <laughs> it's All right, your turn now, time. Nate. All right. Well, oh, I'm going to know this one. To take the lead. Here's yours. Get Tom. Uh, Thomas. Thomas. Tom. Yeah, nice. Thomas. Thomas Creek. Thomas. Thomas. Uh, Cruz. La- Cruz? <laughs> Latrine. I don't fucking know. Uh, um, ditch. Tom, Thomas. 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 Oh, what the fuck is that? Yeah. Like a- Canal oh, you ditch or dream Thomas Downstream Ooh. something like that Thomas oh, Downstream <laughs> um, um, Thomas Down Ditch uh, Thomas Down Creek Thomas Thomas Down Creek final answer. <laughs> Incorrect nope. Sanduskies. Is it Thomas Rhett? Thomas. I, I thought Thomas Rhett too. I don't know where the Rhett really comes in other than yeah. but what I feel like that could be like a weird British word for like whatever the fuck. Yeah. I, I don't hate that. Um, like a butter. It's, it's a middle Rising. butter. But I think he wants to get to the middle. Thomas, what... Tom Middleton? Uh, something like that. Like you, you pick Fletcher. I don't. Thomas Rhett. Fuck it. Final answer. So Don't Bullet got the closest. This is Thomas Middleditch. Oh, I was going to do short. Who the fuck, short? Oh, who the fuck is Thomas Middleditch? Yeah, I don't know who that is. Oh, is he, the, is he Richard? Uh, I think he's, he's oh, the main guy. Yeah. He's doing oh, like Verizon yeah. commercials. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's, that's Richard. Wait, yeah, one that's second. a good. That was a good one. That was a good yeah. one. Middle ditch. All right, we're good. Um, okay, so it is still two two going into round three, but don't bullet has the advantage because they still have their double on hand. World War Two. Uh, so uh, you've used your doubles, so not that you could anyway. This is your niche. Uh, double. You're allowed to double the others' teams' niches if you'd like to double this. Mm-hmm. Wait. Uh, I'm good. All right, no double. So we'll turn it over to Petey then. Sanduskies. What was the name of the manufacturer of the first ever jet fighter first used by the Luftwaffe in 1944? And there it is. Didn't like one of the. I'm not positive, but a lot of car companies. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Wouldn't it be like Audi or BMW? I'm thinking maybe Mercedes. Mercedes? Mercedes was was like, yeah. I mean, it could be some random German company that I don't know, but. I would think car company, and I think Mercedes. I like that. It could be BMW because that was around then too, but I would think Mercedes. I thought. I believe a lot of the Nazi cars and stuff were Mercedes. Yeah, so I think. Yeah, were also I think they were the official sponsor of the Nazi like, party. Was Volkswagen around? I'm just so, trying to uh, German car companies. Yeah, no. I think let's our just, Mercedes let's... sponsorship for the league is gone, but we're gonna lock in the official <laughs> sponsor of the Nazi Party, Mercedes. Final answer. Okay, Mercedes. Final answer. 
That is incorrect. I think it's Volkswagen. I'd, I'd go BMW. I, it's I think Volkswagen. BMW. Hitler, Hitler Volkswagen. Invented, it's Vol- isn't the famous thing that Hitler invented the Volkswagen bug? It is right. Volkswagen, a hundred percent. Got to be Volkswagen. Hundred percent Volkswagen. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna let you know. I think it's BMW. But I know go, for a go fact, Volkswagen. I know for a fact Volkswagen at least made like all made like all the Blitzkrieg yeah. tanks. All right, like, I'll Hitler, bet you. Yeah. I'll bet you a beer. I'll bet you a beer. We can go with yours. <laughs> sure. Okay. Volkswagen. Final answer. Okay. It is not a car company at all. It's a Messer Schmidt. Oh, oh yeah. fuck. Oh. That was on the tip of my tongue. PD, PD, I really <laughs> thought you would have had that one. I, 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 knew, I didn't know that that was a manufacturer. I was thinking I think like it, car company. Yeah, so, so it, the name is just like, the model name is just like a, like one letter and like three numbers. So I didn't want to do that because that would have been stupid to know like the D240. I've heard Messer Schmidt. I just didn't know. I just thought that was the name of the plane. Because I've, I've always oh, just known it for Messer Schmidt. Nate, yeah. was mum- Nate, Nate was mumbling that in his sleep the other day. I don't know. <laughs> All right, um, don't blow up this the German guys. blood. To take the lead, uh, the niches strike Sandusky's again. They just can't hit their own. Um, what was the nickname of the P-51? It was considered the best American. Oh, the Spitfire. Spitfire. Sounds right to me. It was um, a Spitfire. I like that. We got a lot of time here, but uh, it's got to be yeah. a Spitfire, right? It was a Spitfire. It was a Spitfire. All right, all right, Nate. Final answer, good. Spitfire. All right, final answer, Spitfire. That is incorrect. Spitfire was the British plane. God, Fuck. Had... Fuck. It... God damn it, Nate. It's bad. like the Mustang. It's named after a horse. 51 Mustang. I think that that sounds right to me. I truthfully. I was thinking Bulldog. I don't. I like Mustang over Bulldog. All right, let's go Mustang then. I like, I like Mustang more. P51. P51 Mustang. Final yeah, answer. let's do that. Mm-hmm. That does sound good. Mustang that does sound good. Is correct. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. And I knew it right when they said it. Fuck. Also, Nate, when you said Spitfire, I thought that was right too. I wouldn't have guessed Mustang. Right, right. When you guys were playing, I knew. It. I knew. It was All right. right. So Sandusky's are now up three two, but obviously we they've had a niche and they've had their double, so it is very close. Going into serial killers, um, don't blow. You cannot double this, but this is your niche, so no one will be doubling here. So we'll get right into it. But this is your niche. First, Sandusky's. Charles Manson was allegedly inspired by his interpretation of which Beatles song? Nate, start naming Beatles songs. Um, it's not your turn. It's not. It's not ours. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, <laughs> the idiots. It is my it's duty to tell teams that do that. Um, is this Yellow Submarine? No. I, I don't know. Um, yellow Submarine. Beatles song? No, it probably isn't Yellow Submarine. Oh. I don't know. Um, is it? I thought it was like Strawberry Fields Forever, but I like Sel- Yellow Submarine better for some reason, because Rico Starr was very crazy and he wrote Yellow Submarine. Yeah, I mean, I, any guess works. I think so. I can't even think of other Beatles songs right now. Let's Yellow. Do, let's do. No, that's that's a Coldplay album. Let's do Yellow Submarine. Final answer. All right, Yellow Submarine. Final answer. That is incorrect. Thirty on the seal here. Two. Ten. I want. I want to say it was a day in the life, but I don't know if that was after. What are some other Beatles songs, Nate? Charles Manson. I mean, there's a million. There's <laughs> I don't. I don't. I. I'm thinking um, of Sergeant Pepper's. Uh, could be fucking. What's the Lucy in the Sky full of diamonds or whatever? Yeah, it's yeah. We've seen that sky. one's kind of crazy. Yeah, because Charles right. Manson was used in an LC experiment. Let's do Lucy. I know, sky no, but oh, that, was, that was, whoa, 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 that was Sergeant Pepper's, and right, well, I you, think that might have been after. Right, well, you gotta watch the. Clock I thought you ran out of time, uh, <laughs> but unfortunately, it's Helter Skelter. Oh, <laughs> that was the next one they wow. were gonna you guys say. Are so sure, close to saying that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, yes, yeah, so just make sure to watch the time. So it's still 3-2 Sandusky's. Um, don't blow it. This is for you to tie it up. What famous serial killer was murdered in prison by fellow inmate Christopher Scarver in 1994? This is uh, Miller's, uh, Jeffrey Miller's Dahmer. Land, right? Jeffrey Dahmer. This is the oh, person yeah. near it's Miller's. Got to be Jeffrey, Jeffrey Dahmer. Dahmer. Yeah. yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer. Final answer. Jeffrey Dahmer. Final answer. And we Let's go. Game. Let's go, son. We have a tie game. That One, noise is three, so satisfying. Team three, three. The good one so far. All right, so we're going to reach the turn here. MLB, uh, don't blow it. You want to double here? Um, Nate, I don't how you feel? considering that Matthew probably yeah. has the most MLB knowledge. Yeah, no, I'm, good. I'm good. All right, you're going to hold off. Um, so anything not the Cubs, I'd be fucked. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you have to uh, – 
you do have to double at some point, but you know, obviously you have six rounds left. So here yeah. is Sandusky's Will PD Fletcher. This is for you. The AL saw four teams win multiple Cy Youngs in the 2010s. Who were the only two teams to have a pitcher win the award once in the decade? So I need both teams. The only two two teams, teams pitcher won. Okay. Yes. Um. All right, Red Sox or Yankees? Do Yankees have a winner? Fuck, this is tough. Um, okay, I like the Rays. The Rays are one I'm thinking of. Yep, because um, I think AL. it was just Price. And what about what, what about Verlander? How many times did he win? Give out the, the Tigers. Answer. The Tigers probably had multiple winners. I don't want to go with the Tigers. Okay, AL West, um, Angels. I can't think of a good pitcher. Could um, it be King Felix um, and the Rays with Price? Because yeah. King Felix went on the Mariners with 12 wins, and that was a big deal. Yeah. Um, we're, so we're, we're going to go with King uh, Felix. We're going to go with the Mariners and the Rays. Final answer. Mariners, Rays, final answer. That's incorrect. Right, so, 30 on the seal. I'm trying to think. I like the Rays. Did the Yankees have two? Well, it wasn't the Yankees. A fucking, what was that two. big dude's name? CC Sabathia or some shit? Was that before yeah. 2010? That's the only That's the only one I remember. So I'm. I don't even know the AL Cy Young winners before I'm like 2014. And Rays. I'm fine with that too. All right, we'll do Yankees yeah, like, Rays final answer. Okay, Yankees Rays final answer. Incorrect. Is it Mariners Tigers? Tigers? Mariners, Red, Mariners Red, Sox. Um, Red Sox. Will you had the Mariners the Rays? Blake Snell won it as well. And then it's Red Sox. Um, the Red Sox had Rick Purcello win it. Uh, oh, I was thinking that was Chris Sale in 2016. No. And was then, he still in the uh, White Sox then? The, the Tigers had yeah. Scherzer and Verlander win it. And then the Astros yep. had Verlander and um, Cole. Cole. Someone, someone. Yeah, it was Cole. Um, anyway. Uh, no, sorry, it wasn't Cole. It was Keuchel. It was Keuchel. Oh, yeah. All right, so we still got a tie game. Similar question for you guys. Don't blow it. NL saw three teams win multiple Cy Youngs. Who were the only two teams to have one pitcher win the award in the decade? Cubs. Cubs with uh, Jake Arrieta. Yeah. And, and then did Max Scherzer win multiple? He had to have. I mean, he's kind of a tank. Um, oh. Trevor Bauer didn't win it one year, did he? No, he would have been on the Indians, actually. No. Um, fuck, fuck. It's, it's definitely the Cubs, and then the Dodgers. You no, know, Kershaw would have won multiple ones. Indians are in the AL. All um, oh, right. Uh, the Pirates. The Garrett Cole. Okay. Yeah. Let's that. do that. Uh, Pirates Pirate. and the Cubs. Pirates and Cubs. Final answer. All right. That is incorrect. Tough MLB questions tonight. Matt, is the 2010s 2011 to 2020 or 2010 to 2019? To 2019. Okay. Because it's the Reds in 2020 with um, Bauer, but it's not. That doesn't count. What about, what about the D-backs? Who won on the D-backs? I don't know. But I'm trying to think of – I'm thinking the Mets, but the Groms won it multiple times. Um, no, I like I, Cubs for sure, and I like D-backs, honestly. I don't know why. Okay, let's go Cubs and D-backs. Final answer. Okay. No, it is the Cubs and the Phillies with Roy Halladay. Oh, Roy Halladay in 2010. Ah. R.I.P. Um, Does Garrett Cole never win a Cy Young? With the no, Bulls? not the NL. Because the, the uh, first yeah. year he was really good on the Astros, they gave it to Verlander because they were both really good. Um, yeah. And then the Mets have actually had two different winners and DeGrom won it twice, which is interesting because R.A. Dickey won. Yes, the knuckleballer. Yes. All right, so it's still 3-3 with half the game to go. Um, NBA is the next category. Don't blow it. Do you want to double this one? You guys want to try and double, Nate, EJ? I'm or, not. I'm a fish out of water here, but Tyler, if you're feeling confident, go ahead. I don't know what the rest of the categories are. But we're gonna have to double at some point. Let's. We'll, I, th- I guess we'll wait until at least we can wait. We can wait. So All right, we're still gonna hold off. So there is. Let's see. One. There's three non-niche categories left, and you have one niche left. So you'll still have three opportunities to double after this because you can't double your own. Um, Sandusky, this one's for you. We're talking head coaches. Name the team based on their head coaches from 03 to 16. Jeff Van Gundy, Rick Adelman, Kevin McHale, and J.B. Rockets. It's the Rockets. Day final. 
Rockets final answer. It is the Rockets. Sure. Take the lead. I didn't realize that um, what's his face got to the Rockets after 2016. So you think um, yeah, the uh, I, had, I originally you had just, really hard ones and I had to change. Who did you just say, Fletcher? It was um, D'Antonio. Mike yeah, D'Antonio. I, I would have thought he arrived prior to 2016, but yeah, he started. Obviously, I'm wrong. Yeah. All right. So this is tied back up for Don't Blow It, only worth one. Name the team based on their head coaches between 03 and 16. Rick Carlisle, Jim O'Brien, and Frank Vogel. Oh, well, Frank Vogel. Oh, that's way before, though. Fuck. Where's, Ka- where's Rick Car- Carlisle now? He's on, he was the Mavs. But is that is, are those in order necessarily or not? They are in order. Okay, so that would be way before. Frank Vogel, coach of the Lakers, but where did he come? Like, I didn't even know he was the coach before the Lakers. Um. And Jim O'Brien, fucking, who was good in 03? Can we phone a friend? Nuggets? Yes, you can phone a friend. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to phone Ben Heron. All All right. Right. No. So I have to deal with this. Oh, yeah. that, have to answer? So on the phone of friends, you have 30 seconds once they pick up to ask them the question, and then I'm going to tell you to hang up, and then you have another This question. is especially stressful because I know the answer. Yeah, I, I, know, know, too. I know Fletcher yeah. knows it, too. We all do. He all knows right. it, too? Yeah. No. Come on, you Benny. You cowards are not doubling. Come on, Benny. You are fucking pick cowards. Up. Pick up, Ben. Don't pick up, Ben. Don't pick up. FaceTime is bold. Nate, turn your volume off or some shit. <laughs> He didn't pick up. Oh, all yeah. right. So you, get, you get 15 seconds to come up with the final answer. I'm um, just feeling like we just randomly guessed Miami Miami Heat, but I don't th- – oh, no, that doesn't make Miami sense. Miami Heat because it was Hell. fucking – what's his name? Um, what about, uh, I don't know. Detroit Pistons. Fuck okay. it. Detroit Pistons. I don't know. Sure. Sure. Detroit Pistons. Detroit Pistons. All right. That is incorrect, Sandusky. Kyle, Ka- 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 you scared me shitless because it's the Indiana Pacers. Yeah, yeah. Vogel yes. went from the Pacers. Biddy. I – Motherfucker. And the Pacers are the most irrelevant. That's like the one team that never ran through my mind. They're in the Bulls division. I should have. But like, there's no divisions in the NBA. Yeah, Vogel got his uh, popularity there. Did he? Pacers fans were big mad when they. I just watched the Mouse at the Palace documentary. That should have been the first team I ran. I think he won um, Coach of the Year with the Pacers. He was good. He He took him far. He did. Roy Hibbert and Paul George. Yeah, yeah, I want to yeah, say it was he 2012, was, he was the, 2014. He was the coach of the Pacers when Roy Haber blew in LeBron's ear. Remember those series between the – That was Lance, that's Lance Stevenson. That was Lance, that was Lance, Lance Stevenson, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Those, yeah, that was Vogel's Pacers. All right. I should have called that out. I didn't know Carlisle yeah. coached for them. The I, office. I will never get UFC. It is 5-3. to three. You probably won't, Fletcher. <laughs> it is 5-3. Um, oh. No, boy, do you want to double the office? No, sorry. That's not why I put up two. Okay. Wait, so both of our – Niche categories are in play, or just one? No, your second niche is in you, play. You your first niche left. was. Oh, but I didn't. Oh, I thought each team just gets one per game, and it was both. No, yeah, you 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 get okay. two. Um, the other team gets to block one of your three. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. So so next next week, this is actually a new rule for this season. Next week, the two that you use in this game, you won't be able to use for one week after. So we kind of oh, now okay. it like incentivize people to mix it up, which is fun. Um, cool. So anyway, so for example, the office they Sandusky's won't be able to use next week. Sandusky's here is your office question. What is the name of the murder mystery game the characters are playing in the scene below? I need the exact name of the game. Doesn't it have something in Savannah? Like yeah. Really um, Savannah? There's been a murder. Um, I feel like it's called like murder in Savannah. This is, this is where we need. Right right now, thinking. One second. Just give me a second. I like I Slayer think, in Savannah. No, I don't. Th- I think it just takes place in Savannah. It's like damn. I I don't know if I'm gonna pull this. <laughs> this is tough. Savannah murder mystery party. Final answer. That's not right. 
<laughs> you are correct. That is not right. You have 30 seconds. I'm left. thinking Clue something. This isn't the fucking movie, like the Midnight whatever. No, it? no, 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 no. This is when Michael is like talking in a Southern draw the whole time. <laughs> no clue. I, it could be Clue, dude. Like, fuck. I like that's too obvious, but maybe it it's is. Clue. I mean, I got nothing better. But is like they said, is Ince Van in the name? But Matthew said it might not be in the name. All right, I'm fine with going with Clue. Whatever, we got no time. Sure. Clue Savannah. <laughs> clue <laughs> final answer. It is not Clue. It is Bell's Bourbon and Bullet. Oh, okay. That's way more. But literally, the only thing that popped in my mind, like, I feel like it's biscuits or something. It's only the B, but no. And I forgot that Dumbledore used it for my friends, so just getting rid of that lifeline. Um, anyway. All right, Dumbledore, this one is for you guys. You're down two, but you still have your double with, I think, about eight points left. When Jim and Pam visit Shroot Farms, what popular movie does Moe's wear a pajama shirt of while Dwight reads them a bedtime story? Very memorable scene. I have colored out the shirt he is wearing, but what movie franchise does he have a shirt from in this scene? Star Wars, Wars. Indiana Jones, Battlestar Galactica. Um, it might be that. <laughs> is that a is that a movie? I think it's a TV show. Thirty seconds. Popular movie, so it's got yeah. I know. I'd just say Star Wars. Movie? Could it be? I mean, is it a movie series? Is it just movie? So it's like I don't know. It could. I mean, I'd be thinking too hard. Um, mm, I don't. I don't. Gump? I don't know this scene. So Forrest Gump, because he has that weird scene of him fucking running. <laughs> like i don't know man i i thought i knew the office a little bit but five all right we'll do, we'll do star wars ej star wars final answer star wars that is incorrect PD. i think it's harry potter prisoner of azkaban can i just do Jesus harry potter Christ. mask or you i need could to just do harry thing? potter harry i believe it's harry potter because that's what his bedtime story was that's what dwight would read to him lock it in pd yeah, Harry Potter, final answer. Harry Potter, final answer. That is the bedtime story. But that oh, is not the shirt. It's a Jurassic huge. Park shirt. Oh, that is God. huge. So Damn. So we're down to the final man. two rounds here, right, Matt? Uh, Three rounds. Three rounds, okay. That, those oh, are fucking go. tough ones, Matt. So they're, it's a two-point game. Yeah, th- this whole game yeah. overall is very tough, especially for Don't Blow Up because this is your first game. This is a very tough game. I think I was worried about it being too easy in the first draft, and I think I overcorrected a little. So you guys are getting – yeah. Well, I mean, we got lucky. We're playing Matthew, so. You know. <laughs> um, also, the same. Nessies are a grinded out team. They love the low scoring affairs, even though they're Matthew's they're a grinded out guy. They so. like keeping it. <laughs> what, what's the score? Five three. It is five three. Oh, Financial God. counting. You guys didn't block. You guys, five. you guys oh, counting? Are you kidding? Me? Guitar players. <laughs> I knew that would really tick you off, mate. And you cocksuckers. All right, Sandusky's. <laughs> So I thought we had oh, easy no. point there. Well, here's some, here's some financial point. accounting trivia. I need you to tell me, what year did the major international financial accounting firms become the big six due to mergers that created the current versions of EY and Deloitte? It was you the big call Duncan. Yeah. Um, it has to be. I'm going to take a guess, and then we're going to FaceTime Duncan. Plus, I just texted him, "Get ready," and so I'm waiting, buying more time, so he sees the text, and he's 100 going to pick it up. Um, it's bullshit. He, up before the game so we'll be good to go um so i'm thinking it's mid 2000s i want to say it's like 04 or 06 but i'm not certain and again my guess doesn't really matter at all because we're just going to facetime the cfa and let him answer it um right. yeah so we're going to stall oh he's ready all righty it's a veteran move it's a veteran move <laughs> we're using our facetime map all right, I should have so, called Das out for that. For the phone for me, I have a timer. There's, I still don't um, think he's going to know it. What year did the major international financial accounting firms become the big six through the mergers creating the current versions of EY and Deloitte? I don't know the year. Um, okay, don't wow. know the year. <laughs> you have 15 seconds. You yeah, idiot. there's no way. <laughs> Do you know it, EJ? Fuck no. There is. <laughs> Can we um, get an educated wait. guess, Duncan? One, three, two, like one. We'll hang up. Hang up, Will. Okay. All right. Let's do um... – no, 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 no. He, he gave me an answer. Um, I think he gave me a little context to it. And you know what? We're just going to go with 01. 01, final answer. 2001. Okay. That's incorrect. Here. Oh, 
Is oh, 1998, final oh. answer. Or in 88, 89. Well, I'm just like, uh, that shouldn't have happened. But anyway, I have a. Damn, I had that, had that ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> we got burned by that one time last year, and we still believe that's the reason why we got seventh. Well, that's why Qualls <laughs> is the most incompetent host of the that, That's what we call the Trent Dilfer question. <laughs> Yeah, that one was tough because I was at a Hawks game and he made me come up with a new answer. All right, so I always keep a backup question if this ever happens and you guys have 30 seconds to answer it and it's going to be very similar. Do they get a chance to steal or no? No. No. Amazing. Um, so the question is – let me just find it. It is just 30 seconds for you guys. Okay, right. I need okay, – right. I need – when Deloitte merged to become – the modern version of Deloitte, what two firms merged to create today's version of Deloitte? I need the full name of both the firms. You have 30 seconds starting now. I will. So we know it would be. I feel like it'd be Enron, maybe. Is it Lehman Brothers was not. No, no. Not, not in this industry. No. Because um, Enron had the, the whole thing that caused like Sarbanes-Oxley shit. Um, Stratton Oakmont. <laughs> uh, wait so what what two what two firms created deloitte as it yeah. is today so yeah, i think in, it's in 1989 enron we one more oh well one more we have to say I, yeah well did Deloitte and enron I, I don't think that's right but Deloitte and enron. it's too late yeah so it is uh it is do 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 do, do. it's deloitte haskins and cells was the full name of that half and then it was Touche Ross. That was the hardest fucking question. Of all time. <laughs> That's what you get for picking financial accounting as your. Yeah, we really shot ourselves. So, I, I will, <laughs> now it's your turn, by the way. I will say Just that. Uh, liabilities equal. I'm I'm personally not a fan of when people pick like professional categories as these, so they're generally really hard because it's really hard to come up with trivia. Since I don't, we want thought to they were gonna fucking block it. <laughs> yeah, that was the point. We we're like, there's no way they're gonna let us play with them because I don't want to just ask you about your job. There's no fun. We that. like Petey and Fletcher wanted to block it, but my brother is finishing up his CFA three in a couple of weeks, so we're like, we're just gonna let that through and phone a friend Duncan. Um, and he had he was thinking late nineties, yeah. so that's fucking all right. Up. So no harm done there. Um. Don't blow it. This is your question. What year did the major international financial accounting firms become the big five after a merger that created PwC? It was originally just Price Waterhouse. They merged and became Price Waterhouse Coopers. What year did that occur? This might be like 2003. Uh, yeah, I think it's early 2000s or late 90s because I think Big Four was uh, after like 2007, 2008. This might be like um, 2003. Or uh i do i'm trying to think of like shitty stuff that happened in we the we, late lost 90s. Our, we lost our phone a friend right yeah you did fuck i was about to call was, my dad wasn't there a crisis was it 01 <laughs> yeah so should we do 2002 i'll do 2002 that sounds good to me sure 2002 lock it in all right that is incorrect i am my only i say we I... run back 01 my only thought is, and I have no idea, but would he pick a, a year near 1989? He could. The only reason I want to go with 01 is because I know that the dot-com boom was late 90s, early 2000s, and I thought that ended in 01, which could have caused this. And uh -oh. Duncan guessed 01, which, again, if it went from big six in 89 to big five at some point, maybe he was just off from six to five. Let's so yeah, we're going to go with that. 01 is the final answer. All right, oh, one final answer. Close. It's 1998. I would have straight up left if that was like if that was. <laughs> <laughs> the the best the best moments in this league are one the very random polls and secondly when someone thinks it's one answer they change their mind the other team yeah. steals it and is right those are always the most entertaining ones. All right, Aaron Aaron just texted me back. I'm so oh, pissed. that's brutal. <laughs> All right, coming into the home stretch here, so we have two categories left. So there's five points still on the board because um, Joe Bullet has to double at some point. It's a two point game. Low scoring game, but like I mentioned, this is just a really difficult game, which isn't the norm, but uh, just a, a good way to start off. International soccer. Don't blow it. You want to double this one? I don't know shit about international soccer. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, I feel like P is going to have There's this beat one there more too. category after this? There is yeah. one more category after this. Yeah, give a fuck. We'll double that one. Fucking okay. No, the not next this one. one. Not All this right. one. So the way this is going to work is you're going to see a starting 11 from a national team that was in the Euros this summer. The starting 11 is going to be represented by the club's 
each player plays for at that position. Jesus Christ. I have blocked I have blocked off the goalkeepers for each team because that makes it way too easy. So yeah, you'll see sure. 10 players instead of 11. I'm starting to think that maybe the goalkeepers would not have been as much of a giveaway. <laughs> so, you Matt, you are, you're you're an like, absolute idiot for thinking the goalkeepers are going to be a giveaway. You think well, we I mean, even know like, who Sweden's goalkeeper is? <laughs> I know Tim Howard. That's who I know. Yeah, All I right. have bad news for you. He's retired. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> and he's an American. Here is yours. Name this team from the Euros. Okay, let's just go based off of, like, PD, PD, PD. They have no fucking clue. <laughs> So don't let's not throw shit out there because okay. they have no fucking clue. Um, I'm Ethan, no one gives a shit. This a Tottenham sucks. defender. <laughs> Hunter, I rarely include this unless it's a niche. Well, do you have any ideas quickly? I, I'm not really, and I feel like that Real Madrid player should be a giveaway. Um. I think it's a big name country though, because they got a lot of big players here. I'm thinking maybe Germany. We got three Dortmund. It's guys. not Germany. Croatia. Um, no, I don't think it's Croatia. Oh, wait, could could that be the Croatian guy in the top left? Uh, we'll pick something. Uh, Dude, I need Croatia. to get a final answer. Uh, Belgium. Belgium. Croatia. Belgium, Belgium, Belgium. I took Croatia. Thirty seconds on the steal. Fletcher said Croatia. Final answer. Let's go Belgium. Pretty good. Let's go Belgium. Sounds pretty good. Belgium. We're going Belgium. Belgium. Hold on. We got a little bit of time. So yeah, Belgium. Belgium. All I know is they have that one redhead guy. I think he plays for the fucking. Tyler, what are we talking about here? We don't know <laughs> shit about soccer. I think he plays for the <laughs> fucking BBB yellow team. The redhead guy. So I think. But is he Belgium? Or is Belgium is, is our final answer. Yes, let's just do fucking Belgium. It is Belgium. Yeah, let's go. Oh, right. Right. It's, it's the right guy. Guy. I'm the oh. Is there oh, a redhead guy in Belgium? Will, Will, oh. you're, you're there late. is a redhead. So he late. plays for Manchester City. That's Kevin De Bruyne. Yes, that's who I was thinking. Oh, that's not the player, though. Five right. to four. Well, it's a one-point game. Place. This is getting very spicy at the end in a classic Sandusky fashion. Uh, um, Matt, who is the Madrid player? It's Hazard. Ha- Hazard. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I was thinking that from the beginning, but I couldn't think of any of the other players. Well, Will, now you'll understand why the goalkeeper is blocked off because it's Courtois. If you saw that, you would immediately know. Oh, of course. Yeah. That would have been a no-brainer. But no one else on this call would have known that. Yes, but... Thanks for I the like free the, point, guys. Yeah, cool. The way the news goes. All right, this is to tie the game. To tie the game. It's big time. I need this country. All right. Ooh. All that right, could so. be Mbappe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then this is definitely a powerhouse. I mean, come on. Who the hell is on Barcelona? That wouldn't be Where's Mbappe from? France. I feel like England's a little too pure to have all this diversity. Is Mbappe out on the left like that? I thought he'd be the center. I'm thinking Juventus, Spain. I don't know. Like I have no idea. I'm fine going France. I don't think that's right because they'd have one more. Mbappe's. I'll, 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 do, I'll do France. You guys fine with France? Uh, no, I'm I don't cool think France, France is good. I'd go Spain. Final Why? answer. Spain. Final <laughs> answer. It's France, it's, it's France. It's France. It's him. Oh my oh, God. Man. Yeah, just say um, fucking thing. Oh, oh. Um, and then is Matt, is that Veron at right center back? I'm, I'm so assuming sorry. He's a fucking oh host. God. Who cares? Why did you do that, EJ? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, France. France. Well, well, there's no, there's like, why did you do that? France, final answer. It is oh, my God. God. Why did you I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know. Dude, you out. Stolen. I know. It's our I Belgium. Just... I just cut so hold you, of us. That's you, my bad. You were given a gift oh and you gave God. it right back. You identified oh Mbappe immediately. <laughs> you guys said Mbappe immediately. And I'm like, they got it. Like, this is a lock. Oh, I'm sorry. You've used your phone a friend as well. Yeah. Okay, oh, so God. France was the one international game I watched this entire year. <laughs> no, that's on me. I don't know. I don't know what else. All right. So it's mind. it's six four Sandusky's. If you get this correct, you clinch the game regardless. But if you get it wrong and don't blow it, gets their double. It's at best case for you, Sandusky's overtime. You could lose if they steal your question. So, let's so just get it right. Don't blow it. You will be doubling literature. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
All right. Love it. Sick. All right. This Sandusky. is a great time to know that I don't read. Yeah. <laughs> Sandusky, this is for the win. I need you to tell me the name of the earliest English vernacular epic. Beowulf? I'm thinking Beowulf or I, I like Beowulf or Hamlet. I don't think Hamlet's an epic. Let me rephrase that. Hamlet is not an epic. Then I like Beowulf. What the fuck is Beowulf? It, it was, uh, I read it in college. Well, I was supposed to read it. Um, you spark noted it? Yeah, I like Beowulf. Is, was the Odyssey not written in English? No, isn't that Homer's work? Yeah, I, I, I don't think it's written in English. So I was just floating that out there. Let's just do Beowulf. I, I like Beowulf. Okay. It. It's an old fucking thing. It's an old book about some like Danish king. Yeah. All right. I don't know. Yeah. Beowulf. Final answer. Final answer. All right. Beowulf for the win. It is Beowulf. Let's go, Fletcher. Mother damn. Atta boy, David. We still answer our question for you. Do. Yeah. Yes. We always, we we always, always play the whole game. Right. Um, double. All right. So you are doubling this one. Double is active for your question, which is if, if we get this right, EJ, I'm coming no in. I'm beating history. your ass. What is the name of the oldest known epic in history? You get this if you get this right, it finishes seven six. Very good game. Know, Dante's Inferno. I feel like that's a good one, but I think I think that uh, the I think the one that they said. No, I think that the one that they said was was accurate. Uh, Odyssey. I think that's a that's an old Greek one. Let's go um, with that one. Yeah, let's go Odyssey. 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 Final answer. That is incorrect. Is it the Iliad? Sandusky's, you can steal this. I mean, it's something of Homer's Doesn't the Iliad right predate the Odyssey? Yeah, I like Iliad. I, mean, I don't know what comes first. Um, I, I don't know if the Iliad is a prequel and it was like written afterwards, but I, unless you guys have another guess. No, I don't. No, I like that. <laughs> so we're going to go with the Iliad final answer. All right, the Iliad final answer is incorrect. No one came close. This is the Epic of Gilgamesh. Damn. Oh, uh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love that epic. I was going <laughs> to read that tonight. Dude, I, I've got on my nightstand right now. I've been powering through the Odyssey now. That's why I was next on the list. Disappointed. All right, so we finished seven for Sandusky's. Uh, don't blow it. Very glad to have you guys on board. That was a lot of fun. Like I said, it was a really tough game to have you guys start off with against the very tough opponent, our third-place team from last season. But uh, I think you guys are going to be in very good shape going forward. I think you just – Ran into the wrong game here. So we're going to wrap this one up. 7-4 is the final. Appreciate you guys all for playing. Nice. We will see you all next week. We're going to have the sweet sounds of Baker Street play us off.